Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a highly requested video. I'm going to show you 10 fragrances that smell so much more expensive than what they are. These fragrances are all quite affordable. So let's get straight into it. The first fragrance is one that I really, really love. And as soon as I tried it, it smelt quite niche. And I just loved it so much. It smells a lot more expensive than what it is. It's Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. This is so, so good. It's beautiful. The cherry's quite syrupy, but then it's rounded off with like the amber notes. It just smells so, so good. And as I say, it smells quite unique. It smells niche. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And for the money that this costs, honestly, it smells so, so good. I've got fragrances that are a lot more expensive than this that don't smell as good as this one does. So yeah, I would really, really recommend this one. To me, I think it's definitely, definitely unisex. It's not the longest lasting fragrance. I get around four to five hours from it, but it smells so, so good and it's very affordable. So yeah, Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. Then we've got a fragrance that I don't hear much about at all. And it's by Fragonard and it's called Grand de Soleil. Now, this fragrance reminds me a little bit of a fragrance that I adore that's been discontinued. It's Alien Essence Absolute. Now, this has that sort of vibe. It's beautiful. It really is. It's the most stunning sort of vanilla fragrance. There's some spices in there. It's a little bit balsamic in a way, but it really reminds me of Alien Essence Absolute. It's not like a 100% dupe, but it's quite similar. And this one softens the blow of Alien Essence Absolute being discontinued a little bit. So I'm so happy to have this one. And if you like Alien Essence Absolute, I think you'd enjoy this fragrance. And it does smell really, really expensive. And you can get it for quite an affordable price. I got mine here in the UK at Marks and Spencer's. And I think I paid around £25 for it, if I'm not mistaken. And it smells so much more than that. It smells a lot more expensive. So yeah, love it so much. Fragonard Grand Soleil. Definitely, definitely one to check out. The next one is a fragrance by Zara. And unfortunately, I don't think it's available anymore. I'm not sure, but I don't think it is. It's a sweet pastry in Paris. Now, this one smells like a really delicious, expensive gourmand fragrance. Oh, it's so, so good. This smells exactly like a walk on past a beautiful bakery and you're getting the whiffs of those amazing pastries. And this is just like a beautiful lemon pastry or like a lemon pie. Oh, it's so, so good. It really is. It's delicious. It's like, it smells edible. It's so, so good. So yeah, I really, really love this one. This has a little bit of a niche vibe to it as well. So I would really recommend this one to all you gourmand lovers. And it's Zara Sweet Pastry in Paris. 
Then we've got quite a recent purchase of mine. I've had it maybe like a couple of months and I've worn it quite a bit. It's Amethyst by Lalique. Now, this is the most beautiful berry fragrance. It reminds me of like blackberry picking and like biting in those delicious, juicy blackberries. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. And the reason why I put this fragrance in this list is I've recently got Meliora from Perfumes de Mali and this is quite similar to it, especially in the opening. It's got quite a similarity and this just smells so, so beautiful. It doesn't last very long on my skin, I get maybe four hours, but it smells so, so good. And I don't mind reapplying it because it's very, very affordable. I love this one so much that I'm going to definitely pick up a few of the flankers to compare them. So, yeah, if you like a berry fragrance, especially if you like perfumes de Mali Meliora, this is an amazing, affordable alternative. Such a stunner, it's Lalique Amethyst. Then we've got a celebrity fragrance that smells to me very, very niche. This fragrance is super, super unique. It's Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. Now I think this has been discontinued now, but it's still readily available here in the UK. I'm not sure about everywhere else, but I know that you can get this for quite an affordable price. So this to me is a very, very unusual fragrance. It's not your normal celebrity fragrance. It's very, very unisex. I would even say that it verges on being more masculine. Oh, this is so, so good. This to me smells like money. I recently done a video all about how to smell rich and this fragrance could have definitely, definitely been featured in that video because it smells so, so beautiful and it's very, very affordable. If you like really woody fragrances, this is one that you definitely, definitely want to check out. I get quite a lot of like a sandalwood vibe in here as well. It's just stunning in my opinion. So if you can get your hands on this fragrance, I'd highly, highly recommend it. Very unique. It's not going to be for everyone, but at such an affordable price. I think it's definitely, definitely worth a try because if you love it half as much as I do, you'll be really happy. So, Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. The next one is so, so affordable. I don't hear a lot about it, but I love it. I really do. It's Dupe Liban. Now, this does smell like a luxurious bath product it's beautiful it's a warm sort of vanilla fragrance it smells quite skin like in a way but it just reminds me of like bathing in a beautiful warm bath on a cold evening and you've got the most luxurious bubble bath and it smells like those bubbles. It's beautiful. I really, really love it. And to me, this is another unisex fragrance. My husband wears this one as well. It's also a really, really great layering fragrance. If you want to warm a fragrance up a little bit, this is such a good one. It definitely gives you the warm vibes of that sort of hot, bubbly bath i love it and it's one that i love to spray like on a cold winter's night it's so so comforting it's like a big warm hug 
it's one of those like fragrances that you just want to cozy up in front of the telly watching a nice film with your family and you've got the blankets around you keeping you all warm it's beautiful it's dupe laban then we've got roberto cavalli's nero absoluto this is beautiful it's a white floral with a dark mysterious vibe to it but it smells super super classy in my opinion and smells so much more than the price tag it's really really good and one that i adore especially in the cooler months it's also good for the summertime on like a night time when the weather's cooling down maybe you're going for like a nice meal and you're dressed to impress this smells so so classy it's beautifully sophisticated it really really is but i can imagine like wearing a beautiful fitted black dress and I feel really put together, a little bit sexy, and I'm going on like a dinner date with my husband. This is something I would wear to that occasion. It's so, so good, and a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I'd highly, highly recommend. It smells opulent and beautiful. So yeah, Roberto Cavalli, Nero Assoluto, beautiful. Then we've got one that's an amazing, fresh summer fragrance. And to me, it smells really, really expensive. It's Calvin Klein, Into You, Her. Again, another one that is targeted towards women, but I think 100% unisex. Now, if you know me, I always say all fragrances are unisex. Fragrances don't have a gender. Wear what you want, when you want. But yeah, this one is just so, so good. This is bright and uplifting. You've got a blast of grapefruit and bergamot. It's just so, so beautiful. And one that I love to wear, like, out the shower it's a great out the shower freshy it's beautiful but to me it smells a lot more expensive than what it is and it's also been likened to fragrance de bois santal complete now i haven't tried that fragrance so i couldn't tell you how close it is or if it's a dupe or anything like that but i've heard a lot of people mention that it's got quite a lot of similarities so if you like our fragrance this is maybe one that you would want to check out as well is like a cheaper alternative let me know in the comments if you've got san el complet and you've tried this fragrance let us know if they're similar at all because i'd love to know because i adore this fragrance so so much so that's calvin klein into you for her the next one is a fragrance that's been hyped up quite a lot here on youtube it's nina rishi lextas rose absolute and i can see why people love this one so so much this smells really expensive it really does this is a beautiful sweet rose fragrance it's very elegant and it's just beautiful really really beautiful and a lot of people have said that this smells like Mason Francis Kirkshan Oud Satin Mood, I think it is. Correct us if I'm wrong, but I think a lot of people say that it's similar to that fragrance. Now, to me, this just smells so, so beautiful. It really does. It smells expensive. It smells like money. It's so, so beautiful and definitely one I'd recommend this to me is mysterious it smells like a rose garden on a dark wet night i love it it's beautiful it's like a sort of 
magical fragrance it's got a real magical vibe in my opinion and one that i love and cherish it's such a stunner and so so affordable that's nina rishi lextas rose absolute and the final fragrance i want to show you today that smells so so much more expensive than the price tag is elisab le parfum this is beautiful to me this smells like a stunning elegant bride it's so so good definitely an amazing bridal fragrance in my opinion and elisab does design wedding gowns so i can see why the fragrances go down that sort of route but this is just the most beautiful white floral it's so so good it really is it smells really really expensive it's very well blended it just smells so so classy and sophisticated it's got an air of elegance about it it's one that i love as you can tell i really really love this one i've only had it a few weeks but i adore it so so much i think it's very very versatile you could wear this any time of the year for any occasion and just smell so so beautiful so yeah i adore this one and it lasts quite well on my skin it leaves the most beautiful trail and it's just an all-round amazing fragrance so if you haven't checked this out what you're waiting for you need to try it if you like your white floral fragrances this is such a beautiful one also i'd love to know if any of you guys have got any of the flankers to this fragrance because i'm really really interested in buying some of the others let us know in the comments which ones you've got and what you think of them are they better than this one or is there any that you'd really recommend so that's it guys that's all for today's video there's 10 fragrances that smell so much more expensive than what they are so i hope you have enjoyed it let me know in the comments what's your favorite really expensive smelling affordable fragrance give us a big thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so press the notification bell you'll be notified whenever i upload a video and i'll see you all very very soon in the next one bye